Our city here in Marshall is located in what's been referred to as a stroke belt. The United States is the most prosperous country in the world, and yet we've never been more sick as a society. To be heavy is natural around here. Stopping at a burger place on one day, a pizza place on the next day. My blood was like gravy because my triglycerides were so high. The doctors would just treat symptoms. My health was failing very quickly. I dropped dead from sudden coronary failure. Uh, I was dead for six minutes. The protein of dairy is not good. I mean, you put rat milk on your cereal? Why are we putting cow milk on our cereal? There's nothing natural about it. Milk increases the level of what's called IGF-1 in your blood. You add lots of IGF-1 to the body. If you've got a little cancer growing in your breast or your prostate or your colon, it's like throwing gasoline on a fire. In 2008, we got married. Uh, that was also the year that his prostate cancer was diagnosed. One Texas town is working to turn the tide on chronic disease. The Smiths began eating a plant-based whole foods diet, and before long, his prostate cancer disappeared. Yeah, we had a lot of resistance, a lot of skepticism. All three of us in those 28 days lost an average of about 17 pounds. I've never been anywhere near as good an athlete as when I became vegan. I've not been to the doctors in like four years. We literally are what we eat. And if we eat animals who've been abused and who are stressed and who are diseased, that has an impact. We can not just prevent illness, we can reverse it. We can have narrowed arteries open up again. We can have diabetes improve and sometimes even go away. Why is the Agriculture Department making nutritional guidelines at all? They're there to sell meat and dairy products. The nutritional guidelines should be made up by the doctors. The giant food conglomerates uh, buttressed by very powerful special interest groups, well-funded and very politically connected. We're fighting a little bit of a Madison Avenue war and the other side has more bucks than the broccoli growers and the uh, kale growers. We have lifetimes of seeing these images of being told milk does a body good or if you want to build muscle, then you need animal protein. And it's simply not true. People seem to really be hungry, no pun intended, for this knowledge. Hopefully in 10 years, people will look at the meat and dairy industry in the same way that they look at the tobacco industry today. A lot of people say that knowledge is power. That's not true. Knowledge applied is power. This is for this animal, me.